KFM? Welcome back to our channel. If you are new to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right now and you turn on your post notifications. Just stay tuned to our family adventures. What does family mean? Channel plus family equals family, and I made that up so nobody can take it from me ever, ever, ever. And guys, we are actually so excited to make this video because already in Neil's hearing loss journey, we have helped so many people. So many people have messaged us. So many people have also helped us. And we want to make this video and put it on our platform so we can help all parents out there going through the same circumstances that we went through with Neil with hearing loss so we just want to give you guys hope and show you guys there is hope and you will be okay and we're so grateful to be partnering with cochlear americas to share neil's story with you so if you guys don't know when newborns are born they have to go through a newborn hearing screening which our daughter Abella did too. But Neil, when he took his newborn hearing screening, he didn't pass it. Which the doctors and nurses said it was pretty normal because when the babies are going through the birth canal and everything, they have fluid in their ears from whatever that fluid's called inside your stomach. <laughs> so they basically told us not to think about it too much, it was gonna be okay, and to come back in three and weeks. They said it literally happens all the time. It happened to my cousin. My cousin, it actually happened to a couple months before Neil was born. So just because I knew that that happened to my cousin, I was like, oh, okay, it's gonna be fine. Like, he's gonna be good. But then we went back in three weeks and uh, it wasn't good. He still didn't hear and he still didn't pass the newborn hearing screenings. So after the second time he failed his hearing screen, they recommended for us to get more in-depth testing and for him to get an ABR test. And at the ABR uh, test is when they actually confirmed that Neo had bilateral severe to profound hearing loss. And it was at this point when we first learned that there was other options, that there were hearing aids, that there were cochlear implants. And that was the very first time that I heard Cochlear, cochlear implant. implant. Yeah, we both really never knew what cochlear implants were. I've never seen it. Like in all my life, I've never seen anybody wear cochlear implants. Now, it's funny because now that Neo has cochlear implants, I see people wearing co cochlear implants, but I've literally never seen this. It was crazy. So before we could get cochlear implants, since it's a big surgery, we um, wanted to try hearing aids and the doctors recommended for us to try hearing aids. Neo, when he was three months of age, he got his first pair of hearing aids and we were hoping and praying that when he put the hearing aids on he was just gonna be able to hear our voices and smile and laugh and all that but unfortunately when we put the hearing aid on he had no reaction the doctors confirmed that hearing aids would actually never be enough to help him develop speech and language and it was at that point that we had to begin the process of seeing if neo was going to be a candidate for a cochlear implant. So to check if Neil was a candidate for cochlear implants, we had to get him a bunch of tests like MRI and CT scans and all these different things to make sure he had everything that, all the requirements to fit to have cochlear implants. And through this whole process, we also had to keep his hearing aids on because that was another requirement to make sure that you keep his hearing aids on because it just like gives him practice in wearing something. Yeah, and it helped him get accustomed to it constantly having something in his ear so that when he get the cochlear implant, it wouldn't be something that was not familiar to him, yeah. which is something that really paid off in the long run. Yeah, he's very good at keeping his cochlear implants on now. So after many appointments and many months, we finally got the news that Neo was actually a candidate to receive a cochlear implant on both ears. <laughs> you guys stay tuned. I'm gonna get cochlear implant surgery and be able to heal all everything you guys been saying about me and that was something really really exciting and we still tell this it was really it was really emotional i remember I'm still getting, getting i remember getting the phone call we were just in his room i remember when we got the phone call and it was it was such an emotional thing because we we didn't know <laughs> we didn't know like everything was so unknown we didn't know anything so and it felt every step of it was the such way relief. it was something new but just hearing that we were going to be able to give him the opportunity to hear was such a such an incredible feeling. I can't really even find the words to describe it, but then we had to choose the brand of the cochlear implant. Yeah. And this is the part where I feel like we did a lot of research. We spent a lot of time really looking into our lifestyle as a family and what we had planned for Neo. So when we found out about Cochlear Americas, we felt that they met all the requirements that we were looking for and everything we could hope for in having 
the support and, and the brand, they met everything. So the reason we chose Cochlear Americas is because we wanted to provide Nia with the best hearing experience. So with 40 years of experience and a wide range of sound processors, we felt like Cochlear Americas was the best life-changing choice for Neo and our family. We specifically chose the Nucleus 7 sound processor because it had so many accessories and one of the best things it has been that the Cochlear Americas support system has been so amazing during the process. And another reason we chose this is because you guys know us. We travel. We travel to Hawaii, Miami. We're traveling everywhere and always in the water. This was a big reason for our choice to choose Cochlear Americas because it has a waterproof sound processor so you can hear us while we're in the water. So after choosing Neo's Cochlear Implant brand, the next step was his surgery. And his surgery was just two days before Christmas and it was so hard. That choice of that date was so hard, but the doctor told us that the earlier he gets his cochlear implants, the better it's going to be for him. So we chose two days before Christmas. And unfortunately for Neo, he came down with a very bad sickness. He got the croup cough the morning of his surgery. So we took him to the hospital for his surgery and the surgeon just didn't approve for Neo to have surgery. He did not feel like it was the safe and smartest thing to do. So Neo's surgery had to be postponed, which we were very hurt and I mean we weren't hurt we were very disappointed yes it was very disappointing because we had been preparing and as you can imagine after so many different hurdles and getting him to the surgery you feel like you're almost there and then and then you're like not yet <laughs> no, not yet so we were ready we went through all the emotions we went through everything and then we just weren't able to get it but we were able to reschedule with our surgeon and for February 10th which you know, last surgery was two days before Christmas and this one is just two days before his first birthday. So it wasn't much of a better date, but it was the soonest that they could do it. And we felt like it was the best decision for him. And it honestly really was. Yeah. As hard as it was, now that we see him and we've seen just the benefits of having him implanted as early as we possibly could, yeah. we wouldn't have done it any other way. And you know, Neo's so strong and brave, he was still able to enjoy his first birthday and he had those big earmuffs on, like the big bandages on. It was the cutest thing ever. I mean, we were scared. We we had, we had invited nobody really to his birthday. There was like nobody there. It was just kind of like a birthday with just us. Yep. Um, very lonely birthday, but you know, we just wanted what's best for him and to keep him safe and keep him protected. So the next thing we had to do after Neo surgery and after his birthday, we had to keep his bandages on for three days. And I remember how scary it was taking his bandages off because we both did not see the scars yet. We didn't even see, we didn't see anything yet because he came out of surgery with those on. Yeah. And we had to take them off after three days according to the doctor. So we were just kind of scared to see what the scars were gonna look like. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't know what to expect and when we took the bandages off. I personally did, you did too. We freaked out both a little bit because the scars looked like, I mean, the, the cuts looked like they were gonna be big and they're yeah. gonna be big scars. But now you can't even notice the scars on Neo. Literally can't even tell that he had surgery yeah. because it's behind the ear. But I think just the initial process of like seeing what it looked like and it's really scary, but. Yeah. So after Neo surgery, a big misconception that I feel like everybody has and had is that Neo was just gonna be able to hear right away. And that's not the way it works. Like we had to wait three weeks after surgery for him even to be activated. And once he got activated, he got activated at like a really low level. So he wasn't able still to hear everything yet. And on activation date, we also were able to program our phones to be connected to Neo's cochlear implants. And that's another reason we chose Cochlear Americas because we felt that they provided us with the support to make us feel like we were part of every step of Neo's hearing journey. So on my app, I'm able to tell like when one of the coils comes off, if one of the batteries is running low, my phone will notify me and let me know exactly what's happening with uh, Neo's cochlear implants, which I thought it was really, really cool. Yeah, just just in our eyes, we felt like Cochlear Americas had the best upgraded technology Yeah. to fit our lifestyle. So everybody had warned us, you know, before we were getting Neo 
his cochlear implant surgery that it was gonna take a lot of hard work. And we didn't really get what that meant, but we get what it means now. <laughs> so every Tuesday, Neil has speech and hearing therapy. So we're on our way to go to speech and hearing therapy. Are you excited? Yeah. <laughs> After Neil got implanted, we started with his therapy sessions. So Neil has four different therapy sessions every single week. So on a weekly basis, Neo sees a speech pathologist. Neo also sees a speech and language therapist. Okay guys, so today Neo has his speech pathologist appointment and it's so cool because this one they get to come to the house and he likes it because he's in his house environment. So it's always fun to get to do all his therapy afterwards. So you ready for therapy for voice? And from the beginning, Neo has been seeing an early interventionist and she comes to our home and so it does take a lot of time and it is a process that is so worth it though. I know it sounds like a lot of work but we also didn't want to hide the truth of it. Um, I think that a big misconception about cochlear implants is that once you put them on they could, will just learn yeah. how to develop language but it, it takes a lot of speech and practice and practice at home and different sounds that you have to practice with them and talking to them a lot which which is something that honestly came hard to us because for so already a year of neil's life he wasn't able to hear anything so we were signing to him a lot so now that he has cochlear implants it's like we have to almost like slow down on the signing and up the talking which we were very not used to because i mean it's just i still sign and talk but it 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 was an adjustment because yeah. again for the first year of neil's life he didn't have access to sound so we had to readjust and talk more but yeah. now he's honestly he's thriving he's doing really well he's still not at the point where every time you say like neo he'll look but there are you know five times out of ten you say neo he'll look at it so i feel like people don't get people who ask me like he could hear how come he's not looking at me when i talk to him it's because neo's right now at the level of a two month old baby in hearing like his hearing age is two months old. So Neo might be, you know, one and a half, but at his brain level of hearing, his that part of his brain is at the level of a two month old baby. So when you talk to a two month old baby, they're not like looking at you and paying attention to you, you know? So the process we're in right now with all this therapy and speech therapy is trying to catch Neil up so that by the time he's like three years old, he could be caught up with all other three year olds and be able to go to school and live his best life. And that's why it was so important for us to have him implanted earlier than waiting later because we want to make sure that that gap between the time that he was able to hear and from the time that he was born that we close it and close it. And that's why they call it a hearing birthday. Yeah. So he's going on three months of hearing age wearing cochlear implants and he'll soon be one and a half. So yeah. that's really cool. Hi. <laughs> he's smiling like crazy. Oh, he's looking around a lot now. Yeah. Are you ready? Oh, <gasps> you see that before you hear that? So looking back now, I want you to understand that it was never an easy decision because we knew that choosing cochlear implants for Neo was going to be life-changing for him. And it was very scary because we didn't know what to expect. But I can honestly tell you that every single time that Neo turns or reacts to even the slightest sounds, just seeing his face light up and seeing his smile, it melts my heart away and it makes every time that it was hard and every hurdle and every appointment so worth, worth it. it. And, and also we've noticed ever since Neo got implanted and activated, his just attitude and personality has just blossomed so much. Like ever since he could hear, we feel like he has just so much more life to him. Like he is just always extra happy, given that extra smile. Everywhere we go and they see Neo, they always say, he's just such a happy baby. Yeah. He makes people smile. He makes people smile. He makes people's hearts melt. He just, he's just all around, just like and a blessing to us and everybody else. And I do want to say that it's been such a blessing that he was able to be implanted at such an early age because it's allowed him to have access to speech and language at a much much earlier age and he's already babbling he mimics sounds he likes to hum so it's so incredible he to likes to mimic our hums <laughs> he likes to he likes to play so many games of sounds he likes to clap he loves to hear himself clap 
he claps and listens to himself claps. When you take off his cochlear implants, he starts humming because he's confused. He's like checking, like sound testing himself. Like he's checking if he can hear himself and, he, and then he's confused and he wants him on. And it's so cool because at night when you're putting him to sleep, he rips his cochlear implants off because he knows it's bedtime and he wants to be in a quiet place to go to sleep. Like I just think that the cochlear implants were such a great decision and it's honestly changed our lives, changed his life and I feel like it's made him so much happier. I agree. So for the future of Neil, you know, we know it's going to be a lot more therapy sessions. It's going to be a lot more work from us, a lot more work from him, but I'm confident and you're confident that he is going to thrive in life and he's going to change a lot of lives and give people Already a lot <laughs> and give people a lot of hope, especially in the, you know, the deaf community and the hard of hearing world. He's changed so many people's lives, made so many people learn sign language. He's also, we've met people that they are changing their whole careers to advocate for the deaf community because of Neo. So he already has such an impact on this world and we're just so happy that we did this. We just want to say thank you so much for everyone who's been here from the beginning of Neo's hearing loss journey. We know that it hasn't been easy and we couldn't be happier to bring Neo's story to you. We really hope that this video brings you hope and if there's a family out there going through a similar situation as our family has, we hope that we have answered a lot of your questions and if there's anything else that we can answer for you, you can leave that in the comment section we'll do our best to answer any questions that you guys may still have. Yeah, we, we just, once again, we want to thank all you guys for being part of this hearing loss journey and we are just so excited to see what the future holds for our baby Neil, our deaf baby who could hear now. So we will see you later fam. We love you fam. And thank you for all your support. Peace.